Bastrop County, that growing wildfire is forcing more people to evacuate their homes. So far, the flames have burned more than 1,500 acres near Smithville. Every time a fire breaks out, volunteers step up. And as KXAN's Heather Jackson shows us, the Smithville community is already rallying around its fire department. Maybe put it in on ice or something to send out there to them. Heather Washington is a newlywed to a Smithville firefighter. She says she realized the danger her husband could find himself in even before they said, I do three months ago. My husband fought the Bastrop fire too and he told me how at one point they got stuck in there and you know it's just it's just scary knowing that that's a, ever a possibility. Heather believes it's more than just training that keeps her husband safe in the field. <laughs> that's why she says the volunteer effort is crucial because it helps make sure they have the supplies they need. They're constantly going so they never have a chance to really stop. Heather, the chief's wife, and other volunteers have set up shop at the Smithville Fire Department to organize donations. Heather says they have gotten things like Gatorade and water. But they're taking more than water here at the fire department. They're also accepting donations of things that the firefighters in the field just might not think of. Like eating. Firefighters are always hungry and thirsty and we do our best to give them the resources they need so they in turn can fight the fires. City manager Robert Tamble says they are also taking chapstick, baby wipes to wipe their faces, sunscreen, and even hand sanitizer. We appreciate it so much. Thank you. Heather says the men are grateful that the community has their back while they risk their lives. It's definitely nice to have people who understand. In Smithville, Heather Jackson, KXAN News. If you are interested in helping the Smithville first responders, we have information for you online. You can find a list of what they need and where you can drop off donations. Look for a link to this story on the front page of KXAN.com.